I am talking about masks. Now I'm not going to go over how to make masks because everybody's doing a tutorial on that and you've probably already seen one. But what I am going to talk about is this little braided elastic because if you've tried to make masks, you probably found that you can't find any elastic. Um, and I couldn't, but I did find this braided elastic that's used for making bracelets. And I thought that should work. Well, it does, but as you sew over it, this little cord wants to move and it can be a little difficult to work with. So I have a trick for that. Now, I did want to say that I am following Lori Noonmaker's video for how to make these masks, and I did put one, you know, very thin uh, piece of Shape Flex on mine. Just one. Whoops. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Just one side of my fabric. And so what I'll do is turn it right side up and just put a glob of glue right there in the corner. That is a quite a glob of glue but now remember Elmer's glue is safe it's non-toxic and when you wash your mask which you're gonna do anyway before you wear it all the glue will wash out now with a glob of glue this big you know it might take a little longer to set but I just stick that there and put my other fabric on right sides together and I'm just going to set my hot iron down on that for about 10 seconds. I will lift it up after about 10 seconds. And if it doesn't seem like it took or if it seems like it's still gluey, I'll let it rest a minute and put it right back down on there. But I found that even if it doesn't completely, completely dry, it still will hold that <clears throat> little cord in place. And so we're going to do the same thing on this end. Just a big old glob or a little glob however you want to do it just whatever way that it but if you can see as I pull that it's kind of stuck if you pull it too hard it'll come all the way off but it'll stay in your little glob of glue if you set it and then that way as you sew you don't even need pins you don't need anything you can just put it right on the sewing machine and go Okay, and there I've done both sides. You can probably see a little bit. If you hear noise outside, sorry, it's my neighbors. It's very hard to film when there's people home and people outside. But anyway, you can see those have been held together and now you're just going to, you know, mark your opening, sew around it, and then turn it inside out. And I wanted to show you here is one that I have already done and you can see the elastic works just fine. This one's already been washed and dried so it holds up well. Sorry, shaking it everywhere. It holds up well in the washing machine and this is pretty comfortable on the ears. So this braided uh, bracelet elastic is a great option if you can't find the regular quarter inch elastic. So there's your tip and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!